Hey y'all, Scott here. Uh, in this video, I thought I would sit here and talk to you about uh, uh, Special Olympics. A uh, viewer asked how I started, so they wanted me to make a video on it. How I started uh, with Special Olympics and all, so. Here's how I got into it. Uh, we had moved to Georgia about A5, about A6, A7 the school year. Uh, I started middle school and uh, that's when I uh, heard about Special Olympics through my teacher, which was a special education teacher, so I was in special education, and I, uh, excuse me, I feel like my mouth needs white, so, anyway, There. Anyway, uh, I started going to middle school, and uh, my teacher told us about Special Olympics and for us to give it a try. Some of the students were in it and doing Special Olympics. So I signed up for basketball with track basketball in the fall and track in the summer I did that for three there's two for three years and then uh, the fourth year I was in Special Olympics in Georgia I uh, did uh, swimming in the fall and track in the summer track four years, basketball three years, and swimming didn't get far because the uh, coach was kind of mean, told me I was no good and all that, so that's when I decided after that year, I, after the track season was over, I was going to be done with it, and at that time, I we thought it was just for you know, kids in school and no one out of school. You know, so once high school was over, which was my fourth year at Special Olympics, I was a freshman, ninth grade. And so I decided my sophomore year on up, I would do ROTC, which I did. And be done with Special Olympics. Well, about maybe five or six years ago, I joined the Knights of Columbus and one of their charities was Special Olympics. So we helped out with Special Olympics for a while. So started getting back into the Special Olympics scene. And then about three years ago, or, you know, about three years ago, almost going on four, this fall will be four, but th about three and a half years ago, me and my parents and my brother went to uh, a breakfast thing that was being held for uh, from the Special Olympics to collect donations or not. We were going to give a donation from the Knights to the Special Olympics. So we went to the breakfast. And that's when I met my uh, when I met my bowling coach and bocce coach. And now we'll be swimming as well if it goes well. 
gonna try swimming again this year. So I've been doing bowling for three years now and bocce for three years. And this is my first year at uh, going after swimming again. So hopefully that goes good this year. You now when I have my uh, bowling bocce coach to coach me swimming. So I feel at ease on that. And I'll probably continue doing all three every year forward. So that's how I got into this special Olympics in Florida. It's three and a half years ago I met my coach at a uh, breakfast thing I, and the athlete that she, her brother-in-law, which is an athlete, I met through Knights of Columbus. So, so I got involved and got with the Special Olympics and I just really enjoy it now again. I'm starting to really enjoy it. And every time one sport ends, I can't wait for the next sport to start up. And swimming starts in about a week from, uh, well, from today, it'll probably be two weeks. Yeah, it'll be two weeks from today, from yesterday. I should say, Saturday. It's two weeks from yesterday. I'll be starting swimming June 1st. Is when it is. And I invite, you know, I uh, would love to see whoever, you know, join the Special Olympics if you have a. Uh, mentally handicapped or whatever, you know, like, like I do, you know, and, you know, I advise them to look into Special Olympics, and, uh, though, if they get into it, they'll probably really enjoy it, and all that, and, so, look it up. Every state has a Special Olympics, apparently, so look it up. And I know some countries have it too, so just look it up. And if you know someone that is mentally challenged, that's what we usually say. Uh, talk to them about signing up or if you are you know you enjoy it so I would really you know I would guarantee you probably enjoy it so I would tell anybody that I come across as you know it's mentally challenged what not to uh, look into it, you know, and they would really enjoy it. You know, um, I just like love being in it and all that. So that's how I got into Special Olympics. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Comment down below if you know someone or if you are someone that would that's you know mentally challenged that would like to think about joining go look it up and if you did let me know I'd like to know how things went and all that and uh, my uh, anniversary being a vlogger is coming up this week, 23rd, I believe is when I started vlogging. I've had a channel for a while, but uh, I started vlogging 
three years now. It's going on three years. Come twenty third this month, so and I'll be going out of town this weekend, so I might do some vlogging then. And I'll be going out of town this summer too. And maybe go to one of the theme parks or something this year. This summer, so I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. The West, sign out. Bye. Later.